Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and today I'm going to show you how to change the language and do a full factory reset on the i12 TWS Red Label Edition. Okay, so this is a video to change the language from English to Chinese or Chinese to English, depending on which way you want to go with it, and also how to do a full factory reset with your Apple AirPod clones. This is for the i12 TWS, the red label versions. If you've got a different version, this probably won't work. You can give it a try, and if it doesn't work, then feel free to let me know in the comments section and put a request in for a reset on your particular buds. Now, obviously, there are many clones of clones, so if, again, this doesn't work for you, do let me know in the comments, let me know where you've got them from, and I'll try and do my best to help you out. Okay, so that's that out of the way. Now, first of all, some of the things you're gonna need for this. So obviously you're gonna need your AirPods, the case with uh, some charge in it, and also the buds themselves with some battery life in them. Um, it's not entirely necessary, but it would be better too if you can uh, for the procedure. Also, you'll need your mobile phone that these have been paired with, and also any other devices that may have been paired with them previously, especially if they're nearby. I'll go into that more in a little bit of detail later. So first of all, preface, why would you want to reset them? Well, some of these devices, sometimes they, if you want to use them on their own, maybe you want to use the left bud on its own, the right bud on its own, or for some reason when in your Bluetooth device you choose them or search for them, they show up as two individual TWS devices, and obviously you just want to connect that as a stereo pair. Or if there's some kind of other issue with them, maybe they're not charging properly, the language is wrong, whatever it may be, this is how to reset them back to their factory defaults. And also we're gonna change the language because part of the factory default settings also puts them back into Chinese mode in most cases. So if you're a non-Chinese speaker, then you're gonna to need to have these put back into English. So first of all, go to your mobile phone, make sure in your paired devices or previously paired devices that the TWS, which is what these show up as, is forgotten from your device. This is very important because if that device is nearby and these are still paired to it, as soon as you start the process, it will immediately fail. So please do do that first. So disconnect from any Bluetooth devices and forget them as well. So first of all, we're gonna show you how to do the changing of the language. So all you need to do is one bud at a time. Take the bud out. Now you will see it start flashing with the blue lights to start with. All you need to do is tap the bud four times. So one, two, three, four. Nothing will happen to the LEDs and just put it back into the charging case. Take out your next bud and repeat the process. So one, two, three, four. And insert the buds back into the case. Now, after a few seconds, you take them back out and put it in your ear. Now mine has gone from English back to Chinese. So if I put it back in the case, wait until you see the actual charging lights in the bottom, so either the red or blue, depending what state of charge they're in. So you're all gonna have to look very carefully into there. Make sure that it actually does start charging. If it doesn't start charging for any reason, it won't actually kind of finalize the process. This is a very important part of the process. So let's remove the bud again. One, two, three, four. Once you've done that, put it back in the case. Make sure the charging light comes on if need be. Just give it a little press just to make sure the charging light comes on. Give it a couple of seconds. Take the bud back out. And, and now it says power on, pairing mode as it's supposed to do. And I better change this one now. That one's still in Chinese, so one, two, three, four. Put it into the case. Leave it a couple of seconds. And hopefully now you heard that. It should have said power on. I think I vaguely heard it. And again, I'll do it again just so you can hear it doing it. So charging lights come on. Take the bud out. One, two, three, four. Back into the case making sure the charging light comes on. Leave it a couple of seconds. And that should have said Tai Chi. So, 
Better change it back into English. Actually, we won't bother. We'll, we'll go ahead and do the factory reset next. So from a uh, position like this, so at the moment, one of them is in English, one of them is in Chinese. Not a great deal. That's not going to be fun at all for anybody you trying to use them. So take out a bud. Doesn't matter which one first. And wait, you may see the red light flash on briefly when it first comes on and then the flashing blue light. So what you want to do now is tap the device five times. And when you've done the fifth tap, you should see the red light flash. Be patient, it does take a couple of seconds after, but it will happen. So one, two, three, four, five. And the little red light come on. So then you can put the bird back into the case, making sure the charging light comes on, take out the next bird. The blue and red light will flash briefly when it first comes out. One, two, three, four, five. And the little red light came on. Put the bud back into the charging case, wait for the charging LED to show at the bottom. Now these have been completely factory reset, so if I take this out now, you get the Tai Chi message again. So that is completely in its factory state now. So again, if you want to change it back to English now, put it back in the case, wait for the charging light to come on, remove the bud, one, two, three, four, back into the case, wait for the charging light to come on. And now it says power on. So we've reset them and we've changed the language back to English. Okay, so there you go. That is how to do a full factory reset on the i12 TWS and also how to change the language in the i12 TWS. If you've got any comments or questions, stick them in the box below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's unboxing reviews and how to, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.